Welcome to Online Classes at Northwest Mississippi Community College. In this video, we will show you how to navigate around Canvas. When you log in, you will see a screen similar to this one. This is called the dashboard. It will list color tiles of both current and past courses. To the left side of the screen, you will find the navigation menu. It is here that you will discover helpful icons that will guide you through your Canvas. First, if you click on account, a tab will slide out, which will allow you access to change your settings, profile, and notifications. When you click on the profile link, you will be prompted to upload an image of yourself. Keep in mind, for an online course, it is important to establish a community with your instructor and your fellow classmates. By taking the time to add a picture to your account, you help your instructors and classmates better identify with who you are. It is also under the account tab where you can list contact information, type up a short biography of yourself, and even add personal links. Under the dashboard icon, you will find the courses tab. This tab lists all of your current and past courses. In the navigation menu, you will also find the inbox link. Features of the inbox will be described in detail in later videos. It is also beneficial to locate and utilize the virtual calendar icon. The calendar will display important campus dates. Be sure to keep track of these dates so you do not miss important events like midterms, finals, and pre-registration. Also, to the right of the screen, you will see a list of all of your current and past courses, as well as a personal calendar, which is depicted by your name. By default, it will display current semester courses. To access a course, you can either click on the color tile in the center of the page, or you can also refer back to the courses icon, which lists all of your course names. For this video, we are going to work on the online orientation class. So I will click the tile name online orientation. Once you click on a class, you will see your course homepage, which will look similar to this one. At the top is a banner telling you which course you are in. And underneath that is a brief welcome message from your instructor. At the bottom, you will find a large Start Here button that will take you to the Modules page of your course. On the left side of the course home screen are your menu buttons. This is how you will navigate around your Canvas. At the top, you will find the Home button, which will always take you back to this page. Underneath the Home icon, you will find Modules. Modules is where you will spend the majority of your time. This is where your instructor will post all of the lesson material and assignments. Modules are typically organized in one of two ways. Either your instructor will have one block for each week like this, where there will be a page listing lesson material in each assignment listed underneath it with a due date out to the right, or your instructor will have one page per week. When you click on that page, you will see your lesson material and assignments all listed together. Either way, it is important for you to read the lesson material posted by your instructor. The Modules tab, Important Information for the Week, is found here. This is the main way you will learn your subject material and receive directions on your assignment. We will go over how to complete assignments in a later video. For now, let us continue navigating around the course. The Announcements tab will list important announcements posted by your instructor. It is a wise idea to check the Announcements page at least once or twice a week. Underneath the Modules tab is Grades. When you click here, you'll be given a list of your grades for this course. 
Further information about grades can be found in a separate video. The library icon will take you to the Learning Resource Center for Northwest Mississippi Community College Library. It is here where you will have access to their library catalog databases and other helpful online resources. The other links provided are tools for you to use in this course. If your instructor uses them, they will give their own instructions. However, we would like to point out the Net Tutoring link as well as the Bookshelf and Smarter Proctoring. Net Tutor is a free tutoring service that we provide for all online students. We encourage you to explore and use NetTutor. If your online class requires an ebook, you will find it located here in the bookshelf icon. In order to gain access, please follow the instructor provided instructions in the course introduction module. The ebook registration instructions file will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to register. The following files will provide you with the instructions on how to use the ebook once you have registered. During the course of your online class, you will be required to take up to two proctored exams. You are encouraged to take your exams with your instructor at the two dates, times, and locations that he or she is required to offer. Note. These dates, times, and locations are determined by where the majority of the students registered. This means your exams may not be offered at your closest campus. In the event that you are unable to test at the offered dates and times, please reach out to your instructor for further instructions. If you are taking an online course and your instructor is with another Mississippi Community College, you will be required to schedule your exam using the Smarter Proctoring button located here. This proctor is located in Tate Hall, room 201 at the Senatobia campus. No prior instructor approval will be required. Please ensure you schedule your exams during the date and times the exam is available inside your course. If you have any issues with scheduling, please contact our proctor at 662-560-5259. This completes our overview of Canvas. Please take time to watch other tutorial videos. We want you to be successful and enjoy your online experience. If you have any problems or questions, please contact the eLearning office at 662-560-560. 5230 from 8 to 430 or 662 560 5259 during the hours of 1230 to 9 o'clock.